Hi, this is the first in a few stories I have to tell about Abda Zwift. In the latest game release, Zwift introduced hand cycles, and you'll find the hand cycle in your garage. So it occurred to me, wouldn't it be fun to see just how fast it could go down Abda Zwift on a hand cycle? So, first things first, I've got to ride all the way up, but I'm going to spare you that going down Abda Zwift on a hand cycle. For me, it takes about 10 minutes to get down out to Zwift. Freewheeling, top speed between 77 km per hour or 87 km per hour. So let's see if we can beat 87 km an hour on the hand cycle. Because I just come straight out of a ZRL race. Anyway, why am I riding up here after a race? Because I wanted to do this tonight. Once I get to the top, I'm turning around and swapping bikes. I shall be using the hand cycle alone to see just how fast I can go down. But first, let's go through the finish. Under the arch. Okay, ah, here we go. Golden rule number one, never forget those power-ups. I have to admit I was hoping there'd be a group of cyclists heading down up the Zwift after the ride up but unfortunately on an evening ride well there weren't many people about <laughs> would have been fun to have passed a large group
So let's take a quick look at the results. But first of all, I'm no specialist in aerodynamics. I don't have a doctorate in science. I'm the doctor. No doctor, I'm the doctor. Okay, so at first glance, the hand cycle is one minute faster going down the Alpe Zwift, but I didn't manage to beat the top speed of a freewheeling on the tram bike. But wait, oh, hang on a second. I just remembered that when I did 87 kilometers an hour on the normal bike, I was sprinting downhill, attempting to break the 100 kilometers an hour record to get that special badge. So in fact, let's go back to the original figures. 77 kilometers an hour was the fastest speed freewheeling down to Zwift. So the hand cycle is faster to do the entire descent. <laughs> 